Today's first video for you is firstly it seems that far forces have retaken and other Vareda. We know that uh, TDF was in control of five Varedas in the Afar region. TDF withdrew from Arabity a few days ago. Now an other Vareda has been retaken by Afar forces. Secondly, we have a new story about some regional forces which joined uh, Romia government forces and Ethiopian federal forces in the ongoing military operation against Oromo Liberation Army OLA. Reportedly, some regional forces they are stepping back. They don't want to be part of this operation. Why are they stepping back? How reliable is this claim? And thirdly, an Ethiopian athlete who is seen as PM Abi's ally has spoken about uh, the ongoing military operation against Oromo Liberation Army. In a message, he talked about West Sheva Zone. He is from West Sheva Zone. We know that Wale has been uh, gaining ground in this zone, West Shiva. What is he saying? Because he knows what's happening on the ground. Uh, does OLA have any uh, influence, any presence in West Shiva? We'll have a look at uh, the message, the statement of this former Ethiopian athlete who remained in exile as well for around two years, I think after 2016. Firstly, viewers, uh, we know that Tigray forces were in control of five Oredas in the Afar region. Uh, Abala, Magale, uh, Rabati, Kanaba and Birhale uh, when TDF launched military offensive in January it gradually took control of these five Oredas. Then uh, we saw first withdrawal of Tigray Defense Force uh, last week when TDF announced to withdraw from Arabity. Uh, before that uh, Ethiopian government announced a lateral humanitarian ceasefire which was reciprocated by an announcement uh, from Tigray government. Uh, so, uh, first truce was announced, then TDF uh, withdrew from uh, Rabati. Now, an other Vareda seems to have come under a far control. Name of this Vareda is Magale. Magale is uh, situated to uh, the south of uh, Abala, you can say, uh, uh, and uh, Bagale has been under TDF control for more than two months. So after Arabity, it seems that uh, TDF has gradually withdrawn from Bagale as well towards Abala. What about Abala? Is TDF withdrawing from Abala? Is there any uh, reports of uh, ongoing fighting uh, near Abala? And did TDF withdraw from Magale or it had to withdraw? Was there any fighting? Uh, Afar uh, activists, they always say that uh, TDF is suffering losses. That is why it has been forced to retreat. But what we learn from the ground is that TDF is gradually withdrawing. It does not want to hold its uh, ground. Uh, it does not want to hold on to its gains in a far region. It wants to gradually withdraw. Obviously, it takes time to withdraw from uh, five Vardas. Uh, and during withdrawal, sometimes uh, withdrawing forces come under attack as well. That is why what we have learned is that uh, Tigray Defense Force is gradually withdrawing from afar. It, it uh, uh, pulled out uh, of uh, uh, Rabati. Now it is pulling out. It has pulled out of uh, Magale. Next, uh, Warada could be Abala. 
if tdf leaves abala then this route uh, which is being used for supply of humanitarian aid uh, entire route would be under a far control uh, because the road uh, which uh, uh, Samra uh, Makale road passes through these areas. Let's see what we can confirm now is that TDF is out of Makale. Now, secondly, your second new story is about regional forces which are supporting Romia government forces and uh, Ethiopian federal forces in their ongoing military operation against Romo Liberation Army. We know that. Uh, Though uh, Somali region's government has not publicly confirmed that its forces are part of the operation, but OLA and uh, OLA backed news sources and some other news sources they confirm that uh, Somali region's forces are part of this operation and Sidama as well. Now, what we have learned from the ground is that. Uh, Reportedly, uh, these forces from two regions, uh, Sidama and the Somali region, now they are reluctant to continue their support for Oromia regional government forces, Ethiopian federal forces. And they are gradually withdrawing their support. They don't want to be involved in this conflict. Uh, yes, they'll remain deployed uh, along border areas, along Sidama, Romia, along uh, Somali region, Romian border areas. Uh, they won't, uh, I don't think that uh, they will allow OLA fighters to enter uh, the Somali region or Sidama region, but they don't want to be part of any operations inside Oromia now. That is what we have heard. We are in the process of confirming it. Most sources say that these two regional government forces, they are reviewing their earlier decision of being part of uh, the ongoing military operation against Oromo Liberation Army. Uh, if these forces, regional forces, are actively involved in Oromia, it could have serious repercussions. We are seeing that uh, in Amhara region, that Volo is becoming destabilized. In Oromia special zone, in North Shore zone of Amhara region, uh, clashes uh, have erupted between Romos and uh, uh, Amhara government forces in Shiva, Robert, Mulale, Ataya. I have been reporting about ongoing uh, tensions. It could happen uh, in Sidama in Somali region as well, in border areas. That is why perhaps the two regional uh, governments, they're reviewing their earlier decision of backing uh, uh, government forces in the fight against Somali I mean, But we'll update you in coming videos. Uh, are these forces really out of uh, this operation or they are supporting the operation? So far, they're in the process uh, of uh, rethinking their strategy. Uh, lastly, viewers, we have a new story about an Ethiopian athlete. Uh, his name is uh, Faisa Lalisa. He uh, is an iconic Ethiopian athlete. He has won several races. Uh, several marathons uh, in 2016 uh, rio olympics he won a medal and at the end of the race when he crossed the finish line he raised his arms like uh, oromo kiros do so he showed his solidarity with kiro uh, protests in 2016 with kiro movement in 2016 and then he had to go in exile. He remained in exile for around two years. In 2018, he returned to Ethiopia after PM Abi came to power. So he's seen as PM Abi's uh, friend, his ally, Faisal Alisa. And he supported PM Abi's position, Ethiopian government's position in Tigray conflict. He was seen with Ethiopian government forces, if I remember correctly. Uh, so he supported government's position. Uh, and where is he from? He is from Vashiva zone of Oromia, the, the zone 
situated to the west of Addis Ababa. He's from Jeldo. Jeldo is in west of zone of Romania. Now, he, uh, in a message just a few hours ago, spoke about on the ground situation in uh, Romania, especially in Vashima, where he lives. He says that government is not in control of rural areas, that PP party uh, uh, soldiers, they are selling their ammunition. They are handing over their weapons to Oromo Liberation Army and uh, rural areas are not under government control. He is saying that two days ago. It means that situation is the same despite ongoing operation against Oromo Liberation Army. The operation started around two weeks ago, more than two weeks ago and he spoke a few hours ago, I think yesterday. So now he is saying that rural areas are not under uh, Ethiopian government's control. Uh, they are under the control of other forces, Romo Liberation Army. So he is criticizing government forces, government officials that they are not sincere. They are not uh, in control of strategic areas. So far, he seems to be saying that government forces, he is implying that government forces have not made uh, any major territorial gains. Uh, rural areas are still under OLA control. He is not openly supporting Romo Liberation Army. But he is just implying that government forces are making uh, big claims that the statements of government uh, forces uh, Regional governments are false. They don't portray what's happening on the ground where OLA is still in a strong position. Thanks for watching.